Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career for the period beginning November 16th. Because it is a general reading, you might also want to look at the forecast for your, uh, your moon sign and for your ascendant. All right, so let's get started. Thanks again for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find my new channel and for putting a comment below if this resonates with you, if we want to own the reading. It helps me connect to your energy. Speaking of energies, oh my goodness. Thanks, Spirit. Okay, so speaking of energies, um, I do channel quite a bit of messages from the plethora of spirits that are in my space. It's also why I smudge a lot. Uh, and uh, well, I've been getting some of the messages from some of your spirits in some of these readings. For those of you who are guided here, uh, some of your times your spirits will come up. This is not a child's or a children's appropriate channel, so if you got this on loud, you might want to tone it down because some of these spirits curse. Some of them drink, some of them show me sexual images that I do not want to have to think about ever again. Okay. So, with that, uh, somebody's spirit guide is in here, and they're showing me somebody's feeling like I got stabbed in the heart. Okay, thank you. I don't know if that means heart attack or just being hurt but physically, uh, I mean uh, mentally by somebody yet, because they're not clarifying. All right, not a heart attack. All right, it's not a heart attack. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you, Spirit, for not telling me that up front. All right. All right, I'm going to keep those comments until we get all the cards out because, Spirit, you're confusing me right now. All right, so for the beginning period, November 16th, what do we have for Libra? Okay. Well, that kind of makes sense, Spirit, now. Oh, definitely makes sense now. So we've got the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. Thank you. Um, Ten of Rods. We got the Moon. We got the King of Rods. We got the Empress. Let's start with those. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about this. All right. Um, sorry. Let's bring these into the forefront here. So we've got the Five of Swords. Someone's been making you feel bad. Uh, not playing fairly, or as I like to call it, someone's being a real dirty stinker, you know? They're just being a big baby uh, in the situation, and they're lashing out in a way that is not productive, whatever the situation is to you. And... You know, they broke my heart. The pain, you know, getting to the heart of the matter uh, this week. The pain of truth. Somebody who is betrayed. You feel like you're betrayed. Uh, this is about doubt. Um, or somebody that's actually, like, literally broken your heart. And, you know, it's really put a lot of weight on you guys, Virgo. This is all about all the weights on your shoulders, you know. You just took it all on. And you're just carrying too much. And it's not healthy for you. So spirit is asking you. Uh, okay, I have, a, I have a message, but I can't say the whole message. But it's time to wake the F up and lighten up. Okay. That this person or this situation wasn't doing you any good uh, and it's really hurting you um, because you're inter you internalize a lot of this as justifiably so, not discounting your feelings, but uh, it's time to move forward. And so right now, this, the, the card, this card is about relying on your senses. Um, there's a lot of confusion. This week, a lot of disillusionment. You don't feel fulfilled in what you're doing. And, and this, there's a lot of this in the atmosphere right now. So it, it is not surprising that a lot of readings are having a lot of this muck 
on them. And there is a lot of muck, you know. It's the only word I can use, M-U-C-K, muck, which is not mud, you know, but it's just, it's just, it doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. And, and, but, but towards the end of this week, we really are starting to get out of that in a more positive way for a, a, for a, a nice percentage of us. So the King of Rods is about expression of ideas and entrepreneurship and making a plan to move forward. And you really do want to move forward, Libra, you know, and, and it's, this is your time to make a, make a plan to move forward in your relationships and also in your career. I, uh, I have somebody showing me, somebody creating something new, uh, you know, they're showing me like the little tinker toy, you know, d -d 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 -d, and the little tap, tap, tap. So that means to me is, is all about entrepreneurship. So it's about entrepreneurship. You guys are starting to make plans. What you're doing and what Spirit is asking you to do this week is to spend quiet time alone this upcoming week to really be with yourself, quality, quiet, to open up for inspiration of ideas. Relish your time alone and also as you look upon your relationships and spend time with those other people, relish that time. Um, with those people. Life changes on a dime. You don't know that, you know, this person may get, may relocate um, in, in, the ne in the next few months because of a job opportunity. So you want to be able to, uh, you know, people might be coming, uh, coming from, from um, uh, that you haven't seen in a while. Uh, have patience about money because, well, Spirit, what about, what do, what do we have here for the future? after this week as they start to make these plans. <sighs> Bing. Okay. So this, this two of rods is about making plans and moving forward. Duh. Okay. So it's about making plans. It's about moving forward. You see the other hand there. It's about partnerships. The guy's got the other hand. This is holding the world. So he's got the world in his hand. So it is about making plans and moving forward. And speaking of moving, um, yeah, Spirit is confirming that there is somebody that that, that message about moving to a different location for a position. Uh, it's you, and you are moving for a new position. You've been thinking about starting a business in a different lo locale, and it looks like that plan is really going to start to solidify at the beginning of this period. So good for you. Congratulations. All right, so let's take a look at what Spirit has as far as the card. What do we have here? Um, the green man. All right, retreat into nature. There's a great, retreating into nature will be a great way for you guys to be alone and, and being able to be by yourself and have that quiet time, isn't it? So listen to the advice of spirit. Uh, take some time alone. Take some time to be uh, as you formulate that big idea and the new plan because you are making plans and moving forward. Uh, if you allow that, uh, and release a lot of that hurt that you're feeling, that energy, that muck energy in the air this week, Libra. All right, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate that and throwing comments below that helps you to find us, our new channel. Really appreciate it. You guys have a good week.